Hello dear Pygmore Clay enthusiasts, I'm Michaela from Learn Pygmore Clay and I'm back with more inspiration for your work with Pygmore Clay. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to achieve a full dichronic effect for your clay pieces and it's going to be an easy technique and an easy way to achieve a beautiful effect for your clay pieces and you will only need some uh, Pygmore Clay of course, nail art foils and resin and I've used uh, UV resin for this project. So let's dive in. So I, um, I previously conditioned the black polymer clay. I passed it through um, the setting number two of my Atlas past machine, meaning that I ended up with a uh, with a layer of polymer clay that is uh, rather thick. Uh, then I used an embossing folder to um, texture uh, my um, um, layer of polymer clay and I am going to use this texture part to make the back of the bead. So then I flipped the polymer clay um, uh, on the other side and I've just used a cutter to cut out the um, shape. I've used my fingers, you can use a roller to um, smooth off the edges. And then I decided to use a dotting tool to add more inches to the back of the piece. And I'm just doodling on the back of the piece. And then I've just uh, used a round ball tool to make some um, uh, round indentations into the clay to make the back of the piece interesting, interestingly looking as well. And then when you are happy with the look of the piece, um, you can put it in the oven for 30 minutes and bake it at the temperature recommended by the polymer clay manufacturer. Then you have to let the clay cool down to the nail art um, foil to, to the piece. And uh, I strongly recommend you to use gloves for this part of the project. And then you will have to allow the glue um, to dry and gently remove, peel off um, the plastic layer on top of the nail art foil. And use your scissors to trim off the excess foil if necessary. And then I've passed my black scrap clay through a um, thinner setting of my pasta machine. I used the setting number 6 of my Atlas pasta machine. And then I coated my um, nail art decorated piece with this layer of polymer clay. And I'm applying um, clay on the borders of the piece as well. I'm uh, doing my best to have uh, nice edges for my piece. Even though um, in the end I decided to use um, super glue and uh, um, glue some um, soutache cord to finish the bead. But if you manage to do a good work and uh, um, you take the time and make beautiful um, margins for your piece. You won't have to uh, to decorate your pieces with a soutache cord like I did. I'm using the rigid blade to remove the excess clay from the back of the piece. And um, you might consider using uh, liquid clay uh, 
um, when applying this uh, coat of polymer clay on top of the piece, I tried to um, wrap um, the piece in clay, so I considered that um, I didn't need um, any liquid clay because I applied um, polymer clay on top of the piece and on the margins, so my piece is trapped inside polymer clay, let's say. Smooth the piece um, and uh, you can use your roller to smooth off the, um, the front of the piece. And um, uh, I forgot to mention that when I used the texture uh, embossing folder to texture the back of the piece, I uh, used a little bit of water as a release agent. And uh, um, I am going to do the same thing. I am going to texture the front of the piece uh, using the same embossing folder and um, a little bit of water. Then I uh, I've used... Uh, some tissue paper to remove the excess water and then you'll just have to um, use your craft knife and um, remove parts of the textured clay and you will um, um, have the nail art showing through and the fact that I am using a textured pattern um this makes very easy for me to to take out part of the design and i don't know follow the lines of the design and uh ending up with uh, with a beautiful um, um pattern And I encourage you to take the time and uh, um, um, make sure that uh, you smooth off these, uh, um, the margins of these uh, cutting areas, cut out areas, and remove all those tiny bits of clay and um, And smooth off the edges you could even um, make more cuttings and uh, um, make visible more areas um, decorated with nail art foil I decided to stop here. I like this uh, effect. So I'm taking the time to smooth off the cutout areas and um, make sure that the textured areas look nice as well. And it is very important to smooth off the areas and to make sure that uh, um, the upper part of the piece uh, looks nice, especially if you decide to apply resin um, only uh, on the cutout areas. Um, my first idea was to apply resin only in these um, openings after baking the piece a second time, of course. But then I um, I applied resin on top of my uh, um, trial piece and I covered it completely and I really like the effect and I really thought that it looked like a dichronic, a full dichronic glass um, so I ended up by covering all the piece with resin and if you decide to cover the entire piece with resin um, the smoothing and cutting out of the areas is uh, are less important because uh, anyway the resin will um, uh, give um, um, an interesting effect to the piece.
so I'm um, applying resin in the cut out areas in the beginning and I'm making uh, uh, I'm doing my best to um, remove uh, any air bubbles and after filling up um, the cutout areas um, I'm applying resin all over the piece and the resin on top of the piece will give your pieces um, a very beautiful for diachronic effect Uh, before applying the resin, I've baked the piece again for uh, 20 minutes at the temperature recommended by the polymer clay manufacturer and you'll have to let the clay cool down before applying resin. And then you'll just have to put your resin uh, under a UV lamp for 5 minutes. Uh, as I said, I want it to embellish a little bit my piece and I've used a rhinestone that I've just uh, uh, pressed into the resin and then I put my pieces um, under the UV lamp for five minutes And I decided to decorate this um, piece with uh, some uh, black sautage cord that I glued using super glue. Uh, and again, I protected my hands with gloves. You might like the look of the piece without uh, such decoration, so this part uh, is totally optional. And as an attaching system, um, after decorating uh, the margins with a sautage cord, I trimmed off the excess sautage cord and I used this uh, excess. I've made a loop and I glued it on, on the back of the piece using super glue again. But you might like the look of the piece without such. Um, uh, decorations without using um, sautage cord and uh, I don't know you you might take the time and use polymer clay to make a beautiful um, um, border for your piece as always I hope that you like the idea and uh, I hope that you are inspired to create more using polymer clay Please press the like button if you like the tutorial and subscribe if you want more inspiration and stay tuned for more inspiration for your work with Polymer Clay. Thank you.